Welcome to my video on multiplying and dividing using significant figures. Let's say we multiply the numbers 25 times 15 and we plug this into our calculator and our calculator gives us an answer of 375. Most of the time we'd be finished multiplying these two numbers however your homework tells you that you need to round your answer using significant figures. So how do we do this? So first, let's take a look at the numbers that we're multiplying together. We have the number 25, which has two significant figures, and we have the number 15, which also has two significant figures. And when rounding, uh, our final answer can never have more significant figures than any of the numbers we're multiplying. So since our numbers have two significant figures, then our final answer also must have two significant figures. So that means we could use the 3 and the 7 and the third digit 5 we use for rounding. If it's 5 or greater, then we round up, so the 7 becomes an 8, and we have a final answer of 380. Let's move on to our next example. Here we have 7.654 divided by 2.3. If we plug this into our calculator, our calculator is going to give us a really long answer of 3.327826 and it goes on even further but we need to round so I'm not going to go any further. But how many significant figures do we round our final answer to? Well let's take a look at the numbers we just divided. We have 7.654 which has four significant figures and we have 2.3 which has two significant figures and our final answer has to have the same amount of significant figures as the smaller of the two numbers. Since 2.3 only has two significant figures, then our final answer also has to have two significant figures. So we can use the 3 and the 3 and the third digit we use uh, for rounding. And since it's smaller than 5, then it, we don't round up, it stays the same. So our final answer is going to be 3.3. .3. So now let's move on to our last example. This is the type of problem that seems to bother uh, the most students, and you'll see why when we get our final answer. Here we have 10,000 multiplied by 2.543. And if we plug this into our calculator, uh, we would get an answer of 25,430. But our homework tells us that we need to round using significant figures. So let's take a look at the numbers we just multiplied. We have 10,000, which has one significant figure, and all of the zeros are trailing. And since there's no decimal point, uh, trailing zeros are not significant if there's no decimal point. So uh, we have one significant figure in the number 10,000, and 2.543 has four significant figures. And our final answer has to have the same amount of significant figures as the smaller number. Uh, since 10,000 has one significant figure, then our final answer also has to have one significant figure. So we can use the, the number 2, and our second digit we can use to round. Since our second digit is a 5, we can round up, and the 2 becomes a 3, and we have a final answer of 30,000. And I know this seems crazy for a lot of students because 30,000 is not even close to 25,430, but our final answer can only be as precise as the numbers we just multiplied together. Um, if we multiply 10,000, which only has one significant digit, uh, we can't misrepresent our final answer. Uh, 25,430 is much more precise than, than 10,000. So that's why we have to have a final answer of 30,000 if we're rounding using significant digits. So I really hope this gave you a better idea on multiplying and dividing significant digits. I have many other videos on significant digits as well, so make sure you watch those if you need any extra help. Um, I really hope you're enjoying these, and I will see you in my next one.